Hi, and welcome to The Lion's Song. Now this is a game that has been, uh, very recently been released. It's The first episode is actually free to play on Steam, so I am doing that before I invest into the full five episodes, or how many? There are gonna be four, I think? Because, as you might know, I am not a fan of episodic releases. Just because I would la I'd rather wait a year for them to work on the game until it's fully completed. I, d I don't like the teasing, okay? I just want to play the whole thing in one go. But the story is pretty good. The first episode is about a young composer, like, getting ready before her big, big break breakthrough concert. And it seems, I don't know, appealing. And it looks beautiful as well as my kind of uh, pixelated goodness. So let's start The Lion Song, episode one. Where is that? Sounds German. Or Austrian. Actually, the story did say something about Austria, so it's probably Austrian. Do you have enough socks? You need plenty of socks. It's very cold there. Mama, you pack the suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. All aboard? All aboard for Vienna! You will write your mother, won't you? Every day, Papa, I promise. You're such a liar, but I love you anyway. All aboard! Last call for Vienna. Mama, let the boy go. He will get in trouble if he's late. My dear boy, take care. Take care. We'll be good. Yes, Mama and Papa. You take care, too. Take care. Wilma first left them on this very train. Now me. I think we're gonna play as Wilma. I think that's Wilma. Vienna. Musik Akademie. My German is quite rusty. Myself. Arthur. Where are you? You asked me to come to your office. Here I am. Waiting. Maybe at last you want to talk. About us? But you're so shy, Arthur. You don't know how to begin. Oh, don't be silly, Wilma. You keep hoping it'll happen. But it never will. I'm glad you're here. I just had to see you. Sorry I'm late. Why did you want to see me, Professor? Um, why did you want to see me? There's no, no reason to be that inquisitive. Why did you want to see me? Please, call me Arthur. Why did you want to see me? Insistent voice. <laughs> well, to be quite honest... Yes? Wilma... Your performance at the salon. It was quite incredible. The guests could not believe their ears. They seemed to enjoy the music. I'm so glad. I am such a lady. They want to hear more from you, Wilma. We need to keep up the momentum. How is the new composition coming along? Uh, it's more difficult than the others. Your music is so... new. It entices. It challenges. I think... No, I know that we are about to achieve something great here. The future of music. Arthur, I'm... We must build on the success of your performances. If we stop now, we'll squander this opportunity. We have to keep moving. Keep working. We have to establish your name. Well, I, I'm... that is... What is it? I've started composing it, but... But? Oh, Arthur, I'm stuck. I'm horribly, horribly stuck. I don't know how to complete it. Wilma, don't say that. We've come so far. Everything we've worked for... Wow, calm down. 
Otherwise, I'm just gonna get another manager type person. I can't bear to let you down. I know what's wrong. It's the pressure from the Institute. Everyone clamoring for your attention, recognizing you on the street, and even more pressure from me. Yeah, even more. It's not very nice. You need to like calm her, calm her down, not make her even more nervous than she is. Vienna is a city. We can't change that. No, it's not you, Arthur. You said it yourself. It's momentum. Vienna is a city. We can't change that. You need a change. That's clear. Listen, I, I have a cabin in the mountains. You'll be able to work there. You've done too much. Won't you come with me? I don't want him to come with me because he seems not like the type of person that will help me work again being such a lady no you've done too much for me already nonsense you're teaching guiding me your help with the scholarship you need time alone I do I really do the quiet yes quiet the voices the voices will be quiet I'll take care of things here. Arthur, I, I can't... I'm not asking. It's settled. A carriage will pick you up tomorrow. There are plenty of supplies in the cabin. Well, I guess I'm going. Pack lightly. You're not bringing your old violin, are you? Of course I am. Playing that old violin relaxes me. You'll have to walk the last part of the way. It's quite a hike. I'll manage. Very well. I do think this is for the best. You'll be completely alone. No distractions. Only you alone with your voices and the shadows at night. Somewhere in the Alps. Forest! Almost there. Just a bit further. Hmm. Seems like, indeed, quite a hike. Just a few more steps. Yeah, a few thousand. The, la <laughs> the last meters. Whew. I finally arrived. You should probably, like, wear hiking gear, not high heels. That is Arthur's cabin. Oh, Arthur. I hope so much that you're right. An inspiration is waiting for me down there. Or horrible death. Well, let's go. The path leads from up here to Arthur's cabin. Let's go. Yes, that must be good. Let's go. The last meters. Come on, you can do it. Dark clouds hang over the mountains. Uh-oh. Was this a horror game? Almost as if they're waiting for something. The wind is growing stronger. It won't be long until the storm is here. I'd better hurry. These high heels are crap. They were a crap choice. I might just make it before the rain. Yeah. Go, girl. I made it just before the rain. Hopefully, it'll stop soon. The walk up here was exhausting. In those heels. Alright, Wilma. It's time to unpack your bag. Okay. Where, where is my bag? My old violin. Despite its battered appearance, it still has the most beautiful tone. And makes a little note. Eee. My materials are still in my luggage, but I cannot move anymore. My feet are dead. I should unpack first, okay? I'm just uh, 
poetry collection. Tonal munis multi multiplicity. A poetry book. There are several poems in it. Rilke Hoffmannstahl and a few other authors. Let's see. Ah, here it is. The Panther. I will read it later. I guess I will. This book is full of formulas. They describe the phenomenon of transformations. Tonal Diversity by Professor Arthur Caban. I didn't know he had written a book. No, not a good one, then. A pile of letters addressed to R. Arthur. Should I read them? Congratulations. Don't read any of the letters, but I want to. Oh. It is in theory. It is in its essence following, I don't know, the telltale system, as in uh, an action and a consequence. And that's not to my liking, because Adventure Games for me was exploring absolutely everything without consequence. And that's how I lived my life in games, and I don't like this. My dear Professor Caban, or Cabin. No, I like Caban. I would like to congratulate you. I had the honor to listen to a minor concert by your student, Wil Wilma Dörfel? Dör I can't pronounce it. By your student, Wilma, in the salon recently. Many in the audience seemed bewildered at first, whom, excuse my expression, you'd have in tow. There have been so many child prodigies, but this was different. As this young composer's music played, I couldn't quite believe my ears, but soon the strength of her music became clear to all, but at the same time enlightenment, as did mine. My heartiest congratulations, you must be very proud. You have brought forth the brightest of shines from this raw diamond. I will be eager to hear her next composition. Until then, be so kind as to send my best regards to your young artist, your friend Gustav. Aw, that's nice. So much pressure. <laughs> Professor Caban, I hope you may recall the stimulating discussion we had recently in the salon. My name is Gret, Gret Lo Lonexac, and I'm a frequent, frequent visitor there. Some mistake me for a critic, I'm not, but I would describe myself rather as an in intermediary. I unite creative minds, promote the exchange of ideas, in this culturally exil exhilarating time. Like many, I'm a great admirer of your early work. I've been following your initiatives regarding mod modern music, and the young student who performed for us today is the most promising talent. I hoped we could continue our discussions, at your convenience, of course. Yours in anticipation, Gret. My dear Arthur, I'm writing to you in the knowledge that, like me, you are a great admirer of every kind of art. Sadly, I know you, miss you missed a recent exhibition in the salon. The artist was a young man named Franz Markert. His paintings are very special portraits, but none like you will ever have seen. They somehow capture every facet of a person. When I saw them, I immediately thought of you. Luckily, I've managed to acquire one or two of his works. I'd like you to see them and tell me your opinion. To be honest, they remind me of the new music you're pursuing. And they are erotic in a very special way. Male and female both. I would be very interested to know what you think of them. Your friend, M.F. There are no sketches here. They must be in Vienna. They must have been, uh, very erotic. Maybe I will read more later. Or maybe not, because I just read everything there is to read. It started to rain. Oh, I like that head turn. It has a lot of animation, actually. How long would this storm continue? Until you get over your, uh, your crisis situation, probably. Locked. Open it later. Got it. The lamp casts a dim light. The flame dances quietly to and fro. And flares up briefly before subsiding. Nobody talks like that. Nobody. Dusty. But empty. Except for the dust. The drawer is locked. We'll see to it later. 
I'm starving. There should be a sandwich somewhere in here. Music paper. Can't eat that. Ah, here it is. Delicious sandwich. Oh, a letter. Who's it from? Open upon arrival. My dear Wilma. I won't do that voice. I hope you had a trouble-free journey. Yeah. Could have warned me not to wear my high heels, but whatever. I'm sure you have started writing already. Definitely. Inspired by the beautiful surroundings. Carry on. However, I have a confession to make. Perhaps he has written something about us. Before your departure, I started to organize a concert as the at the Musique Ver, Ver, Verein at the Musique Verein in Vienna. I was able to convince a few Ill illustrious colleagues to offer their works. I had to call in many favors, but Mr. Schoenberg, Mr. Mr. B that's a lot of Berg, <laughs> and Mr. Mahler have all agreed to participate and share their works for this glorious evening. And your composition will be the centerpiece. The grand finale. Ooh, pressure. Wilma, imagine it. I understand that this is very abrupt. And for that I apologize. But now is your time. Well, he's right, though. But it is nerve-wracking to know this situation is resting on your... I, I get you, girl. I get you. I get anxious sometimes. Most times. The musicians start rehearsal next week. The piece must be ready by then. In anticipation of your return, Arthur. Oh boy. A concert? One week? How is this less pressure? Arthur, how could you? The storm is almost here. How am I supposed to write something if I can't go outside? I'm trapped here. With a storm outside. And within me, silence. Calm down now. Sh oh, shit. Hello? Yetam Nekdo. No idea. Excuse me? Oh, German? Yes? Obviously. <laughs> um... With whom do you wish to speak? Anyone. Well, you're interesting. My name is Leos. This is my first telephone apparatus call. How did you get this number? It's an amazing machine, isn't it? Yes. Amazing. I wonder if... Are you close by? Where are you? What are you wearing? I'm in the Alps. I'd rather not say... Where are you calling from? I'm in su southern Bohemia. And you, madame? In a cloud. I'm far away. In a cloud. I never would have dreamed of this. I was told you can speak over long distances. But to actually hear a voice, it's amazing! I can now finally talk to my niece, Nicole. I'm kind of hungry. Do you mind? What was that? Thunder. I'm, I would totally tell him that that was my stomach and I'm hungry and do you mind if I grab a snack while we chat? Thunder, there's, there's a storm here. What was what? That noise just now. I, I didn't hear anything. How <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> I hear this noise every day. One of my guests come to me with empty bellies. Are you an innkeeper, Leos? I am. Best dumplings in all of Bohemia. Wonderful when they're fresh out of the pot with a rich hearty sauce. That does sound pretty good, actually. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. Yep. <laughs> We're pretty hungry. And when you cut into it and the steam comes out, Stop, please, you're torturing me. Ah, and in reality, they taste even better than they sound. I wish I had some here right now. 
All I have is this crummy travel sandwich. Which are pretty good, actually. I mean, it'll, it'll do the job. Of course you wish that. Ho, ho, ho. I apologize. It sounds like you were very hungry. It was a pleasure talking to you, madame. Uh... Huh. I'm very sorry. Where are my manners? I didn't even ask your name. My name is Wilma. Wilma? Wilma, it was a pleasure to speak with you. I hope you will not come and kill me. I am <laughs> already regretting this decision because I see this being emphasized. <laughs> Say, do you think we could talk again sometime soon? They gave me a number. One, two, five, five. Maybe. I hope so. Um. Goodbye, Leo. Leos. Goodbye, Wilma. Okay. Time to eat. Time for my sandwich. Finally. Nom. <laughs> you go for it. It tastes delicious. The anticipation makes the sandwich even tastier. I'm so tired now. It was just too much for my first day. It was. It really was. Hey, just... Go to bed. It's more comfortable. Outside, behind the buildings, the sun is rising. Beside Wilma, someone stirs. Is that the professor? And they had like a, a thing going on. That's more like it. Wilma? Hey, are you awake? Maybe? Oh, you. It's late. How did we get here? I was just... I have to leave. Mm, something's wrong. Wait. Something's wrong. I mean... This is what I wanted, but... I really have to go. I'm expected at the Institute. And what we're doing is frowned upon. We've been together such a short time. We've been together all night, and we didn't get much sleep, if you know what I mean. Did I learn my lesson well? Okay. <laughs> yes, and you are my student. We should not be together in the first place. Is that what we are? Together? Distant church bells ring in the background. Am I supposed to count these? To tell what time it is? Six o'clock. I'm already late. Today I'm getting Schoenberg's contribution. I have to be there. Oh, it will be marvelous. Arthur, we should talk. Imagine the looks on their faces when your song is played. Okay, stop grabbing me. What are you doing? Imagine where you could be in a year. Stop, you're hurting me. The future of music. No! Arthur! No! Best get out of there, girl. That just spells trouble. Well, you didn't- you don't look like you got much sleep. Or rest, or any sort of thing that might help you in your situation. It was just a dream. Just a dream. Arthur. I was finally with you, but I want... No, I have to write this composition, but how do I start? Determined face. Come on, Wilma, concentrate. Yes. You've done this before. Anything could be an inspiration. Even this phone. Well, maybe not. Go outside. How long will this storm continue? 
a long time. Where are the melodies hiding? In here, somewhere. Locked. In this letter, someone describes my last performance. In Wilma's mind, the, wor the words form an image. People hold their breath, their eyes sparkling with excitement. They move away, and then they move closer. She hears their footsteps and the, and the clinking glasses in their hands, senses their glances. Everything comes together. A harmony engulfing the melody and giving it strength. Yes, yes, like this. What was that? I can't hear melodies in this din. There are several noises. I can't. A mighty booming. A blood curled. This is a hard word to say. Blood curdling squealing. A relentless creaking. I can only create melodies if I have silence. Perhaps I can silence the noises. Block them out? I have to try. What the hell is that? Huts supporting beam. The wind rattles the cabin. The beam creaks. The fibers in the wood bend and snap. The noise blurs, it fades away. That is so annoying. Oh my god, make a stop. A lamp! The squeaking noise gets under her skin. It's back again. Always audible, even when it isn't. I can block it out. I know I can. The noise slowly fades, blurs, dissolves, and is... gone. No, it's not. For a split second, a melody can be heard, but it vanishes instantly. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. I can't hear melodies. There is one noise left. I can't. A mighty booming. Block them out. I have to try, so I need to silence that booming noise. Where do they come from? Where do they come from? In the valley, the storm rages with all this howling wind and thundering rain. How can I concentrate? I don't know about you, girl, but the sound of rain and, in particular, thunderstorm relaxes the shit out of me and I get so creative then. I feel like I can do anything. Perhaps I can block out the noise of the storm. Yes, you can. Yeah, but going outside. The booming comes from outside. The rain and the wind are so loud. I'm glad I don't have to be out there. But you are. Aren't you? You can't tell from here where, where, the, tel where the telephone lines go. Thick forest. It's a wonder I didn't get lost. Indeed. Strange. Why does Arthur have flowers here? In nature, you mean? Oh, so I did go outside. But each drop of water falls from so far above, forming quietly the droplet whooshes downwards, falling at last to earth. Thundering on leaves, grass, stones, from there to my ears. The sound blurs and fades away, and suddenly it is quieter. The clouds rush heavily over the mountains. It seems as if they want to pull the valley with them. How could I bring this into my composition? Single notes appear, barely audible. They begin to gently push the composition forward, becoming ever stronger and finally joining in the harmony. Yes. Like this. Something shimmers between the trees. You have to look very closely to see it, but you can tell that it's there. A melody hidden between the layers of music. Key 
flowers. Why did he plant them here? The mountains loom high above me. Vienna is somewhere beyond the mountains. Home is even farther. Clouds still royal in the sky. It doesn't look as if the storm will be over any time soon. The path I came by. It leads to a mountain pass. Got it. Anything else to look at? Not really much else that would stir a melody. Clouds still royal in the sky. Well, let's let's go back in. Not much to do here. Finally, I can start writing. Nope. Psych. <laughs> it's cold. And wet. Huh. Where am I? Rain? A well? Why? Why can't I move? I can't move! I'm paralyzed! If water keeps rising at this pace, I will drown. Oh, this, this is such a horrible nightmare. Even if I could move, I could I couldn't climb them. Yeah, they're damp. Water drips down the stones. Am I gonna die? The rain. The water. It's rising. It is rising, actually. <laughs> My feet. The mud grips at them like dead hands. I've got to get out of here. Hello? There's someone down there. Y yeah. Help! Is anyone down there? Yes! Down here! The rain is too loud! I can't hear you! I can't move! Can you climb up? No! My feet are stuck in the mud! So how did you get down there? I must have fallen in! Don't panic! It's a difficult problem! The water is rising! Please do something! The stones are slippery! I don't want to fall in! Wait here, Wilma! I'll try and get help! Wait! How do you know my name? I can't hear you! I'll try to find help! Father? I don't know if it was her father. I kind of wanted to say Leos because that's kind of the last person she spoke to. The storm has gotten worse. Day three. Just a dream. This is all too much. If only I could leave. No. I must finish the piece. I owe it to everyone. The melody. It's right on the tip of my brain. Wilma, concentrate. Huh. Another noise. What was that? No. No, not, not something else. It's a clock that I can't see. The noise is coming from in there. I must find, find a way to get in there. Where could he have hidden the key? Outside, in the key flowers, maybe? Man, we haven't eaten in like a day and a half. That's not good, Wilma. Why does he have flowers outside here? Oh, here's a key. Would you look at that? So let's go inside and get rid of the damn noise. Oh god, that is, <laughs> that is annoying me beyond belief. 
<laughs> I like it. I like how I like how the pocket watch vibrates because it's annoying her so much. I've got it. The ticks of the old watch shatter in her imagination. The fragments dissolve and gradually fade into silence. Several figures are drawn in a chaotic style, many facets of the same person. So that's where they were. A melody formed of multiple facets. The facets from the sketch are in my composition. Lovely. Arthur must have had a reason to lock this letter away. Of course I'm gonna read it. My beloved Arthur, I can hardly wait to see you again. The memory of your last visit still hangs in the air. Like a note that, after the orchestra has already finished, lingers on. It fills me with dreams, feelings, and determination. And longings for you, sorry. Sometimes I want to get away from Vienna. I want to travel with you across Europe and farther. With every year one senses what was fine in the city, what was worthwhile and grand now ebbing away. The voices all sound the same these days, just echoes from better times, long past. Vienna is losing itself, but the city, its people, they don't care. They see to it that things keep on as they are, instead of doing something about it. I don't want to stand by and watch. I hear Berlin is the future. Oh, I don't... I, I don't know about that. Full of beauty and hope? I'm not saying anything against Berlin, but historically speaking, I wouldn't... It's not the place to be. Let's go there sometime. What do you think? Please tell me soon. Yours, Gret. Another one? Arthur. Yeah, so, um... He had a little thing with Gret going on. I hope this isn't affecting my composition, but every composition needs a dark moment. So this is going to be a good one. Letters. Unfinished composition. The composition is not finished. The harmony of the salon is now part of my composition. A pile of letters addressed to Arthur. I already read them. A state that is to be preserved during the transformation can be reco recovered by applying another transformation. The transformation over the course of a piece of music. Can one prolong an emotion through variation? Variation from a fast tempo to a slow tempo. Maybe if I... Yes! That's wonderful! She's happy! Good! Let's continue. My favorite poem is in here. The Panther by Rainer Maria Rilke. His gaze against the sweeping of the bars has grown so weary it can hold no more. To him, there seem to be a thousand bars, and back behind those thousand bars, no world. A dark, strong beast trapped in a cage. The sound of a secluded piano. Behind it, silence. I can barely keep my eyes open. Maybe I should sleep. But I don't have enough time. Ooh. Decisions, decisions. Try to stay awake. No. I don't have enough time. To be fair, if, if I'm running very, very short on time, I will not sleep. Until I'm done. I must try to stay awake. Eyelids become heavier, heavier and heavier. In the haze of fatigue, the notes in her music become a blur, and quietly, new ones emerge. I'm sorry, girl. I hope I didn't ruin your composition with tiredness. Hello?
Good evening, Wilma. Is that me? No, I'm not Leos. Why did you call me? Funny that you asked me that. What do you want? Have you ever thought about what you want? This is another nightmare scene. It is very creepy. I don't want to be with Arthur. He's a pusher. Maybe a drug pusher too. He's going to ruin you, girl. I want to go home to my parents. Ah, that's more like it. At last, we're talking about what you want. Hey, nice hair. What would you lose if you, if you went home now? Are you willing to leave this new life of yours behind? Vienna? Your studies? This chance of fame and fortune? Arthur? There are some typos, though. <laughs> Can you truly be happy back at home? I would write music there just like I used to. I was happy there before. Well, I wouldn't leave my chance at fame in a career in Vienna. I would just fucking dump Arthur. He's a poison. He's a damn poison, man. Leave, leave him be. I would write music there just like I used to. Then do it. Am I going home? Oh, the voices have returned in my head. The storm. It's here. Oh no, 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 no. What's wrong? So we need to find more inspiration. Tonal multiplicity. I will make it home. Arthur will never talk to me again. So what? The storm, it's here. It's on top of me. I know it. Read the damn book. I will drown in this. No, you won't. Get it together, girl. The storm, the thunder, lightning. Can I block them out? Well, if you want. But I don't know. They're not that bad. Go away! No, it doesn't work this time. Okay, so I can't block it out. Also, my voices in my head are very loud today. I will drown in the storm. Go outside? No, she doesn't want to. It was still like a locked thing. I can't write like this. I will drown in the storm. Okay, we get it. Maybe you just need, need it's the sandwich. All of these noises in my head. I cannot let my fears control me. Maybe I can block them out. I have to try. But maybe I won't be able to hear the music anymore. Try to block out the voices of fear and angst. Better to let them stay. I don't know. Fear and angst is, you know, just a part of being human. No, it's too risky. No. It's not what I meant. I thought the game was gonna get all deep and stuff. I cannot let my fears control me. Yes, okay, fine. We're gonna block them. I thought you were gonna, you know, work with your fears. Stop it! The voices become louder. I knew it! Stop it! One by one, the voices fall silent. Stop it! I can do this. As the voices fade, she has a sudden realization. Her heart beats steadily. She feels the air filling her lungs. The oxygen in her blood and warmth in her fingertips. An inconstant ephemeral rhythm. Yes. Yes, that's good. Arthur writes here about a phenomenon he calls tonal diversity. By building certain relationships between the notes, the same note can suddenly sound quite different when heard again. It seems as if Arthur is talking to her directly. His writing is so clear, so similar to the way he speaks. She imagines him lecturing to his students. 
pauses, not once, but many times. He turns to her and smiles. Wilma focuses on. What do I focus on? The pleasure, the pleasurable surprise every time it happens. His intentional, unhurried actions. The pleasurable surprise every time it happens. Arthur's pauses are never exactly when you would expect them. You can feel each one coming. You don't know when, but you will know it will come. He delays it, stretches it out, until finally, when I've almost given up waiting, he pauses, turns, and smiles. Wilma tries to incorporate these pauses in the piece. Good. Examine closely my violin. With all its scratches, nicks, and cracks. I got it from my dad back then. And Otto always tries to steal it. I hope Otto and Mom and Papa are doing well. A melody. I will just play. The music repeats itself. Motives, melodies, and rhythms, which Wilma has played many times before. Never really surprising. Almost boring. The tones seem to linger long after. A reminder of all the other times she's played. Like now. Never written harmonies. Maybe their time is now. Hmm. Wilma writes the harmony down. That was the last sheet of music paper. But there's still something left to write. The finale. There has got to be some space for a few notes. No. Where will I get something to write on? What, paper? Come on, girl. The back of Arthur's composition is clean. I need the paper. I'm sorry, Arthur. Just looking at her music lifts her mood. This is my best work so far. Melodies flow through her mind while the rain falls on the cabin. Now, a dedication. Oh, he's going to be offended if I don't put Arthur from my brother Otto. Uh, I guess I could go with my mentor. I don't really want to, though. But he's going to be offended. I guess he did do a lot for me. Hmm, I'm thinking. You know what? Screw Arthur. I don't need him. From my brother Otto, without whom my music would not exist. Well, that's gonna <laughs> dr drive the nail in Arthur's coffin of offendedness. Stay forever safe. So this is... The Lion Song. Fuck you, Arthur. The auditorium at the Musikverein is packed. The composition by Schoenberg, Mahler, and the others have already been played. The mood is tense. Seems to me as if the whole city of Vien Vienna is here. But now is not the time to be nervous. The Lion Song. The sounds and melodies free themselves from the instruments. Expand with wide and distant perspectives. Form pictures of familiar faces and places. Pull the audience with them.
quiet to a calm, bright spark. And seem far away all of a sudden, muffled as if heard through falling snow. Then burning with a desire to break free. Cleaved into facets, clean and sharp edged. Persisting, yet changing from moment to moment. Now peaceful, like a warm voice from far away. And when the last note has been played, it seems like everything fits, everything in its proper place, just so. As the curtain falls, Wilma leaves the stage and disappears between countless music musicians. I don't think I impressed the audience too much. Is this episode two? John and I... Oh! Well, this is creative. I haven't seen this before. These are the developers. Oh, these are like the most interactive credit credits I've ever seen. Additional game design and writing. Martin Phillip. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, we can see our decisions. 90% revealed Wilma's name. Didn't talk about Nicole to Leos. Nicole. Okay. So we should probably do that. Tried pushing through the sleep as well. Said they want to go home. So I'm... Not many people want to go home. Also tried to block Wilma's voices. But I didn't. But she didn't... Oh, maybe... Okay. I'm getting the... I'm getting the the sense of what you could diff do differently now because I, I wasn't very well aware. I think I'll just play a bit more. I'll restart and do some different decisions because one thing I remembered was that I could call Leos and I want to talk to him again. He seemed like a swell guy. I wonder if this guy at the start of the game is Otto, her brother. Hmm, that would make sense. How I love being here. Okay, so that was a hint that she likes to be there. So I might change my decision to not going home and living with my parents. How much music has he written here? A lot. What's taking him so long? The view from this, this office is wonderful. Oh, Vienna. How I love to be in the city.
Hello? Wilma? It's me, Leos. I missed this call last time. You remember me, yes? Yes, of course. Why are you calling? I... well, to be honest. I wanted to hear your voice again. Last time we talked about me, my niece, and about my dumplings. But I never asked about you. That was rude of me. Your niece? Yeah, we didn't talk about Nicole. Your niece? Nicole, yes. Some years ago, my sister and her husband asked me to look after her. They travel much of the year, but they do not believe she's strong enough to join them. I tried to look after her, but where is she now? What happened? I just couldn't manage. I mean, I love her. We're... We were very close. But running the inn and taking care of her? I couldn't do both at the same time. So she went to her parents in Vienna. But I think things are better this way. Do you miss Nicole? Yes. She's like a daughter to me. Who looks after Nicole while her parents travel. A governess, I think. A certain Frau Schmoll. I don't know her. Is it better for you? I'm not sure. I like to think so, yes? How old is Nicole? She must be... Mm, nine years old by now. But she was always very clever for her age. You'd be surprised, really. And she's not as frail as they think. Why don't you call her? I want to. That's the very reason why I got this machine. And then, well, you picked up. But I'm not completely sure it's a good idea. You should do it. You think so? If you don't, you might regret it. I... Every hour, minute, second that passes. Keeping your feelings from someone you love is something you may regret later. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I can. Make it up to her somehow. What happened, though? But enough about me. What about you? Do you have family? What is your profession? My profession? I write music. Like a composer? Yes, I study composition. Any songs I would know? Not really, no. I've just started to make a name in Vienna. What are you doing in the mountains? Trying to find my muse. She's hiding from me. She's hiding in the mountains? She's hiding somewhere. Perhaps outside in the storm. Muses can be elusive. For a moment, she hears a melody. Wait, what was that? What? I thought I heard something. You heard something? Just now? I did. What did you hear? A melody. I don't understand. Can you do that again? Do what again? Keep talking. Fine, I'm talking to you, Wilma. I will try to keep going, but I don't know what to talk about, so... Should I perhaps tell you about my dumplings again? I told you something about me. My profession. Yes, you are a mu musician. What was that? What? The melody. I can hear a melody. Well, quick, write it down. Goodbye. Write. The notes disappear. Oh no, I nearly had it. No. And suddenly she hears the sound of his voice again. Thank you, Leos. So I was missing that part, maybe. Nighty-night.
I want to be successful. Ah, that's more like it. I believe you can be successful. But what are you going to do to achieve that success? I don't know, but I will do whatever it takes. Good. Well, you had better get back to work then. Vienna deserves to hear your music. there. Leos. What was that number he told me? Please be there. Please be there. Please be there. Hello? Oh, thank God, Leos. You're there. Wilma, is that you? Oh, God, I'm so glad you're, you're here. Calm down. What is it? It's all too much. What was that? Thunder. Real thunder this time, not my stomach. The storm is here. I'm so afraid. Thunder? Ah. D don't worry. It'll be alright. Just focus on my voice. Yes. Your voice. Can you hear me? Yes, you're definitely not whispering. You're right. I'm yelling. How does my voice sound like? You were not the whisperer at the top of the well. I had a dream I was drowning in a well. Someone came, but then they ran away. Not me. I would have helped you. I know. And it wasn't my father either. Oh, this game remembers your choices if you play it multiple times. He wouldn't abandon me. And Arthur was never mine. Oh god. Oh, it was myself. Me. I was running away from myself. I was running away from my composition. It was an important dream. What is that doctor's name in Vienna? Freud? Exactly. He would approve of your interpretation, I think. Yes? Yes. Do you remember how you talked me into calling Nicole? What did you do? I called her. I did it. I'm a stubborn old chick. <laughs> I called her anyway. What did, she, what did she say? She was overjoyed. She said that I should visit her as soon as possible. Can you believe it? I'm glad. I simply had to call her. The silence that followed our last call. As soon as your voice was gone, I was reminded of how lonely I really am. Are you still feeling lonely? Not anymore. Not when I'm talking to you. I'm glad that I can talk to you. Me too. breathe. Are you still there? Yes, still here. What are you doing? I'm writing music. What about that storm? Still here too. It no longer disturbs you? No? Wonderful. I can finish the song now. It's a song of courage of being yourself and facing the shadows. May I hear it? I will play it for you on my violin. Hmm. 
wonderful. No, I'm not done. But soon. Until soon, then. Farewell, Wilma. Farewell, my friend. The composition is developing well. There are already several great passages, but still a lot to write. So we're still, we're already like doing stuff differently from my first playthrough. I love the sound of rain on windows. I love it too. The soft tapping of raindrops against the glass was a magical kind of symmetry to it. A tender melody feels very near. That was the last sheet of music paper. Okay, so you go through this game and you select areas that might be inspirational, but you can't have all of them. Until you get, you know, a combination of elements. Until you run out of sheets of paper. But there's still something left to write. The finale. There has to be some space for a few notes. Well, I do have Arthur's unfinished composition. Can I use something else? I can't write on this music lines, so it has to be that. For my friend, Leos. So this is the lion song. Let's see what variation we get of this. We definitely got more conversation and different options. But I don't know if I'm okay. I'm never gonna be okay with these games. There's too many choices. I, c I can't decide. You do get a different reaction from the audience, so I bet there is a, a good combination you can make. 
And that was the lion song. The first episode, Silence. And I'm a bit happier with how it developed like in the second playthrough. Once you get a hang of what you have to do and that you don't have to inspect all the elements to, you know, get a final result. And I'm glad I got to talk more with Leos. He seems like a nice chap. And I definitely, definitely do not want to pursue the Arthur thing. Because that, that just gives me a bad vibe. But this has been The Lion Song. You can play for free the first episode on Steam, so go do it. Go weave your own story. Go be with that Arthur guy. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not trying to sway your decisions, but whatever. And I'll see you in the next game. <laughs>